Hi guys, Squirrel here. Welcome back to some Construction Simulator. Oh, this is going to be fun. If you remember, uh, last time we built... Well, last time we built this thing, this this house here. And what a massive house it is. I don't remember building all of this. I don't remember doing the, the swing or the, the log pile or the, the shed or... <laughs> the barbecue or any of the other bits and pieces. I just remember rolling around on the ground, putting up things, dropping things into an area. But hey... Left leg loop! That's construction sim for you. We've got an important job to do. If you remember, we've got this, the stadium. You guys said definitely take the stadium. So let's have a quick look at what we need to do here. So first job is to go and talk to the foreman. Then we have to transport 8 cubic meters of earth from the gravel plants into the marked area and unload them. Now if you remember, I had real fun with that last time. Because 8 cubic meters, although the, the truck takes 4, uh, it, you'd think that would be two trucks worth of stuff, but the last time I poured four cubic meters into a space, it I needed about 12 cubic meters of it. I've not quite worked out how that works, but we shall see how it goes. Then we've got to compress it, so I'll, I'll remember to turn the roller on this time because we've got to flatten it down. Then we've got to move four lots of turf from the nursery to the uh, cargo area on the construction sites. That's easy enough. Then, uh, okay, can we not scroll a little bit at a time? There we go. Then we've got to take two drain pipes from the material trader, transport them into the marked area, compress the area again, because obviously you've just put pipes in there, then take some more turf, which this is getting deja vu now, then take some more drain pipes, <laughs> and pour some more earth. <laughs> this is, job is crazy. Then compress it, then take some more turf, and more drain pipes and then talk to the foreman how does this work this is the craziest thing surely this isn't real am i am i not really look step five two drain pipes right and then we scroll down step eight two drain pipes and then step 12 two drain pipes so surely that means i can just take six drain pipes and just leave them next to the site Assuming I can fit them on the back of the truck. And the same with the turf. I've got four turf here, four turf here, and four. So I've got 12 turf. All right. I, I don't know. This is crazy, but whatever. We're going to try and, and do this. We're, we've got our uh, truck here. Uh, first job. Oh, we've already got earth in the back. Look. I remember that. Wasn't that from last time? It was. Well, let's go and tip this into the area and then see how much we've got left. But when it comes to pipes and stuff, I wonder if the pipes fit on this one. I'll have to find out. I'm going to try and take as many pipes as we can. I'm sure we can get more than two in there. I'm going to stack them high. I'm going to have like six pipes stacked up here. I'm sure it'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Dodgy builders. You know, we need to economize. We need to improvise. We need to save the monies. Let's get on the road. Where are we going? I'm not even locked where this thing is yet. Gravel plant. Did we not? I didn't accept it, did I? Is that what it is? Accept contract. Aha! That's better. I'm committed now. Right, where is it? There it is. Oh, we've got to talk to the foreman. That's right. Okay. Let's drive over to the foreman. Without, without killing everybody. Well, not too many anyway. Look left, look right. Let's see if we can uh, find out a little shortcut. Look, there's the shortcuts. Dodgy builders, we're all about the shortcuts. Here's a shortcut, for example. Look, down the bus lane. Whoops, sorry, bro. It's just a minor scratch. But a touch up paint will fix that. I know there's a shortcut here. This this truck can move when you um, when you don't have to take too many corners. This truck can really pick up speed. Look, so a little shimmy to the left. No, where's the map going? I thought it told us to turn left. Oh, it did. The sat nav told us to go back. That was really weird. I was freaked out. Past the laggy gravel plants. What speed are we doing? One hundred and one, one hundred and two kilometers per hour. Get ready for the lag. No. <gasps> Maybe they fixed it. Maybe they patched the game and fixed the lag. That's outrageous. 
Let's see if we can get more speed down here. We're doing 104. Oh no, there's a limiter on it. Look, 105 is the most I got out of it then. In theory, we should be going a lot quicker. Right, this is a dodgy bend. You can see what's going to happen right now. This guy's trying to turn left. If I hit the brakes... Ouch! That was meant to not happen. What was meant to happen was I went through the sign, and what actually happened was the sign just stopped me dead. And then went flying. <laughs> it's only 50 down here. That's miles per hour, right? Uh-oh, where is he? Um, there he is. I see him. You see him over there? There he is. He's waiting for me. Is this the stadium site? Oh, wow. Where do we get in? Look, coming soon. Brought to you by Dodgy Builders. Epic Stadium. It's made out of turf and pipes. And that's it. There's no gravel. There's no seats. <laughs> well, this is a pretty big car park. There was a Fiat there, look, little Fiat. Um... Ouch! Blimey! Right, let's go and have words. Let's see what he wants. Yo! Yo, bro! I'm here! Let's build us a stadium! Woohoo! Let's do this. Where is it gonna be? Like here? What's this bit for? Is this the pool? Or is this the changing room? Maybe this is the men's shower. It's quite a big shower. Right, let's let's have a chat. See what he has to say. Greetings, Paul. After you brought the roller, bought the roller, I remembered there was a recently a contract available at the Fushberg Soccer Club. They want to turn the cinder track into a playing field with grass turf. That is why we are here today. That sounds like a perfect chance to show the club members what we can do. Definitely. But we do not, un but do not underestimate the difficulty of the job. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Compacting the entire area will be hard work. Oh God, really? We have to flatten the whole stadium. We will get the roll sod at the nursery. No need to swear, bro. We will also need additional topsoil for the grass. But first, we have to install drainage pipes. You will, of course, need pipes, but there are already some there, as you can see. I suggest you get started immediately. <gasps> really? I'll take care of it. See you later. Wow, we've already got... Transport 8 cubic earth from the gravel plant into the marked area and unload them. Wait a second. He he just said that there was some pipes here, didn't he? Did I misunderstand that? Well, there's the marked area, but I thought he just said there's already some pipes or something. Maybe I misunderstood. Never mind. All right, let's go and tip some earth. Left leg. Leap into the truck. <laughs> You can't do that in Euro Truck. Let's go and put... We've already got 2.1 here. Let's go and tip that in. External view for the win. Right. Let, I'm just, just before I do this... Just before I do this... I'm going to double check... That that is definitely what we're doing. Active jobs... Transport 8 cubic metres, yep, from the gravel plants into the marked area. I bet you it doesn't count this. This will be fun. That's the wrong button, Paul. That's the horn. I thought it was up on the D-pad. Oh, it's up on the... Uh... Oh, man. Is that going up? It is actually going up. Look at that. It counted it. I thought to myself it wouldn't count it because I got that soul on a previous job, so I thought, oh, you know what? I bet the game's going to be, like, really picky about this. Right, now the gravel plant, thankfully, is only here, so that's not so bad. Be a very quick drive. Move the mouse. Uh, we can't get out that way, can we, because it's all fenced off. So we'll have to go back by the car park. Coming through! Oh, I wish you could put handbrake turns in this thing. <laughs> Steering it is so weird, because, like, I don't know, I use an Xbox controller. When you when you turn left, it takes forever to turn the wheel. And that's what makes it really hard. I don't know why they did it that way. Basically, instead of 
Like if you hold this stick left, you think you get a full lock left, but you don't. What actually happens is it just starts a, a slow rotation of the wheel. Okay. If I time this perfectly, I can just nip out that way. Oh my god! How did that even happen? I don't even know what happened. That makes no sense. The back wheels were on the tarmac, the front wheels were on the grass, and yet we spun. I think this is probably going to be a two-parter, to be honest, this, this thing. By the sound of it, it's quite a big job, so... I doubt we're going to finish this in one episode. We shall see. Make sure we go this way. Oh, look, there's my um, container. Truck that I left behind last time. Alright, so we just go over here, reverse in, and it should just fill us up. Action camera. Let's go with the action camera. Look at that action. Hidden behind a post. Right, four cubic meters. Ka-ching! 2,000 centimes, or whatever it is. pricing is ridiculous it's just i don't know why does it cost so much money we're surrounded by earth and they charge us for earth you should think about purchasing a new vehicle no no not doing that maybe there's a bigger tipper trailer thing but i'm i'm happy to use this we're watching the pennies oh that just reminded me of the last episode where we went flying and didn't spill a single bit of gravel Right, I'm going to time this one better. Left turn here. Oh, that's not bad. Right, the stadium. Can we get through to the stadium this way? I'm going to check for any dodgy entrance. What the heck is that on the right? Can we go through the fence? Oh, <gasps> outrageous! I bet nobody knew that. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. That was a big, big noise then. We can actually drive through the fence. Right, watch the uh, bottom right there. Now, top right, look at that. Top right, it seems to have filled up correctly. So this time we've not been ripped off by the look of it. Speed limited until we put the uh, tipper down. We go. I wonder how many people actually tried to drive. Oh my god, why is the fence working here? Are you kidding me, the developer? Oh my god. The developer made it a clipping fence, except down here. Was it about here somewhere? Or was it the. Look at that, genius! Oh, I love it. I found an exploit. I call hacks. That van's like, where did you come from? <laughs> oh no, he's turning right, I think. I have to go around the outside. I know, bro. <laughs> it's a good job it's not like Euro Truck and every time you have a crash vehicle, they charge you for um, 400, um, 400 euros or dollars. Whatever it is, just because you hit something. Because honestly, my bottom line would be screwed at that point. This next one's going to fill it up, and I think we've got to go and get some pipes at that point. So we'll need the other vehicle, the one with the uh, crane on the back, I think. Unless I have to buy a specialist vehicle, I genuinely don't know. It doesn't actually teach you that, really. It's kind of weird. It just says to you, you need to buy a new vehicle. It doesn't say why. It doesn't suggest what kind of vehicle you might want to get. Or, oh, you know, if you bought a roller, it would unlock some more jobs. Or if you bought a concrete pourer, it would let you do this. But in actual fact, if you buy a concrete pourer, you then need a concrete mixer to go with it. Because the mixer basically... The, the, the concrete mixer pours into the concrete pourer, and then you use the pourer to sort of... Uh, pour it into where you need it. So you kind of need both machines. Buying a concrete pour on its own is, is not that useful, because it can't carry much. 
It needs to be fed like a beast. Like the beast that it is. The concrete beast. Shortcut hype over the vineyard. I think we'll probably have to put the pipes in. And then pour the soil on top, I guess. I just love my little exploit. It's absolute genius. Okay, right. So we make sure we're right inside there. Now, I'm just going to pour until it completes the job top right. So we need to be careful here. Because I don't want to waste it if possible. Is that enough? Is that enough? How the heck? How the heck? See, this again rips you off. I've brought to this... To this area here, I brought a two, a four, and a four. And the job hasn't even finished yet, and I've only got one left. I swear there's a tax on this thing. I should have been left with two cubes, not one. Okay, job's about to complete. Clear the construction area. Okay. How, how big is the construction area? How far away do we need to be? Is this like fireworks? There we go. What the? What did that do? You just... They just took my soil and... Did nothing with it. That's the most bizarre job. Seriously? What? What is the difference between that and that? I just poured soil into the ground and nothing happened. And now I need to flatten it. So what have we done? Just top coated it with soil and now we've got to flatten it. Is that it? That is such the weirdest job. Alright, I need to find... Um, now then, the roller. Let's go to the roller, hopefully. Oh, you see the roller. I remember the problem with the roller is getting it there. In order to get it there, I'd have to buy quite an expensive vehicle. Which I don't want to do. I want to be careful with the money. So I'm going to have to pay to go there. And it's not cheap if I remember. 1,100. Okay. We'll, we'll pay it. That's fine. Oh, that's it. Just dump me outside, bro. Ever thought about leaving me in the car park, maybe? Right, now this. If you've ever played Farming Simulator. I'm going to put Farming Simulator principles into construction sim right now because we've got quite a big area which is very similar to um, harvesting a field in farming sim so we're going to go whichever the biggest edge is which I can't quite see from here but I've, I've got a feeling it might be that way rather than that way yep it is I can see the edge there so we're going to go this way I, mean, I need to remember to turn the uh, roller on what was the button for turning that roller on? A key. Okay. Let's get over here. No! Don't you dare get stuck. Are you serious? That's better. Let's line up nicely. Want a nice clean finish. Should we do it first person? And be all pro about it. Let's do this. Look, first person compressing is actually quite tricky. Because when you turn it... Look, the vehicle and the camera moves, which makes it doubly hard. <laughs> That's actually quite tricky to do, first person. <laughs> Turn the compressor off. Oh, look at the tidy mess we left behind us. GG. Right, put the compressor back on. I'm going to try and run a straight line as best I can. Oh my god, it's so difficult when that camera movement and lean just makes it so hard to judge where you are. It'd be so much easier in third person. That's not a bad line though, to be fair. That pavement's annoying. Right, get, get off! Come on, you can do it! Look at that mess, look at it, look at that! That second one was better than that one because I was just trying to go straight rather than follow the edge. Right, we're going to have to compress this now. I think if you can line up and then 
Stupid mouse. If you can line up and then just let it go, it's the moment that you start turning it becomes really difficult. Yeah, that's good. That works. I feel, I genuinely feel compelled to finish that edge. I just can't leave it like that. Perhaps I should have just gone round the edge completely and done a perimeter. Maybe that would have been a good thing to do. There's got to be a technique to this thing. This is such a strange beast to drive. <laughs> there we go. New contracts are available. Why does it tell me that? Because I can't take them anyway. You have to have another a second foreman. I reckon after we get... After we've done this stadium, I reckon that we'll be able to buy another foreman and then have two jobs on the run. Once you've got two jobs on the go, I reckon you can make that more efficient. Because if your vehicles are bigger, you could potentially go to one place and pick up stuff for two jobs. You know what I mean? It won't matter if you can press outside the line, will it? Probably not. It's not bad. Uh oh, 29 grand? Are you serious? Monthly financial statement, 29,000 bill. I'm not even making that in a profit. Dodger builders are going to be running into financial difficulties soon. It's making me work for this. This will definitely do it. Come on, ka -ching. There we go. Get four turf from the nursery and transport the cargo into the marked area. Get two drain pipes and transport into the marked area. What am I doing? I've finished. Why am I doing this? Why do I feel compelled to fill these extra bits of grass in when I've already finished the job? I don't know. I can't help myself. I can't run away from this. This is ridiculous. Why am I doing this? I honestly don't need to finish this off. Reverse. There we go. Now I actually feel like I've done it. I need to move the roller. I can't leave it here, can I? I think we need the roller again later, so I'll just... Um, I'll park it on here, on this bit of fantastic physics. Compress the marked area. Done. Uh, this is step three, isn't it? So, four turf from the nursery and two drain pipes from the materials dealer. Hmm... I think we're going to need a flatbed with a crane. Now, four turf and two drain pipes. Can I get all of them in here? That's the question. And I honestly don't know. So we've got to go to the nursery and the materials dealer. Where's the nearest materials dealer? Uh, here. Let's do the let's do the pipes first because I don't know how big they are. Um, so we don't know how much space I'm going to have left. Warning, this vehicle is reversing. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Dodgy builders are coming to town. I'm not even going to sing that, but I'm sure you're singing it. Oh my God. I can fit through there. No, I can't. No, I can't. Can I fit through here? Just, maybe. Let's get back on the road. Under the bridge. I wonder if you get to construct bridges in this. I know that later on you get to pour concrete into walls uh, and actually construct the wall. And I've seen like massive cranes that you can use, which look awesome. So you can build, you know, much taller buildings once you've got pour concrete and a crane. Why are you stopping? No, get out of the way. Oh god, 
Oh, that's bad. Oh, oh. I got it under control. Uh, this is not the entrance. Oh, yes, it is. This is another entrance. Ah, you've been building entrances on me. Uh, maybe here. He often puts it... He often puts it like there. So we'll, we'll find out. Left leg leap. Look at that. I'm in mid -air. Look, I'm talking to him. Look, can you see it? That's amazing. Uh, what are we getting from here? Pipes. One, two. 1,200. And then we land. Thank you very much. Nice to do business with you. Whee! Um, there it is. I think we can... Oh, I, oh, I thought it'd be... Um, for some reason, I thought they'd be like massive... Almost like sewer pipes, but they're not. They're just... Um, that's fine. We can easily fit them on. In fact, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a wait, 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 wait. In that case... Two drainage pipes from here, stage four. Two drainage pipes, stage five, six. Two drainage pipes. Okay, I'm going to buy six off the guy. Leap! Yo, bro! Can I have some more of those? One, two, three, four. We'll take all six right now and get the job done. We'll take them all to the... I don't think we can get... Or maybe we can. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can we get six and six turf? Oh no, it's eight turf we need, isn't it? Ultimately. Yeah, four turf on that stage. Four turf on that stage. Twelve turf. Okay. Let's do these and then... Um, go get twelve turf. In one go, hopefully. We can get twelve in there, maybe. I'd have to do some serious crane operating if you want to get 12 in there, but we'll see what happens. You can't get it any closer to yourself than that, because it won't... Do you know what I mean? It won't physically get nearer, which is a bit of a design flaw, I think. Unless I'm just doing it wrong, which is a possibility. Maybe there's a different technique I could employ. I've noticed about in construction sim, it's always sunny. Have you, ever, have you ever noticed that? I've never had a rainy day in construction sim. I don't think there's any weather simulation. Like, it's not even cloudy, that's the thing. It doesn't do anything but sunshine. I mean, it's a purely optional thing. They wouldn't have to put it into the game, but it's just... I've noticed that. And it never sunrises, it never sunsets. It's just always the same time of the day, always the same weather. Oh my god, it's so far away! Why is it so far away? First person hype! Okay. We can do this. We got the ball. Oh no, I left the side panels down! How did I even do that? Uh, what was the button to do that? X. <laughs> I think I pressed X trying to turn the, the beacons off. Oh! That's fine. And then, yeah, it's interesting how you can do that while you're moving. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Oh, I need to miss the bend! No! No! I can't see where I am. Oh my god, there's a barrier here. How do I get back on the road? Oh, you scumbag game. They put a barrier to stop me taking a shortcut, and I was going that fast. I had no option but to just bin it straight into the tree. No! That's not even fair. Why can't I... I love the way it pings up, though. I got this. Okay. It's a bit of a journey, I must admit, from the building's material dealer all the way back here is quite a trek. And I was just flooring it, I grew a little impatient. But we're here now, that's the main thing. Now then, how do we get in? Uh, it's over there, isn't it? Yep. This is the quickest way in, I believe. We can make that. 
there we go, I told you we could make that. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! It's all good, we strapped it all down, so we're good. That's why we strapped it all down. <laughs> Stop! Did they just fit drum brakes on this thing? What is wrong with this truck? Right, let's put the outriggers out into this lovely compressed soil. Now, we only need to drop off two at this point, I think. And... This guy can go over here. Uh, he can go like the. Cool. Or maybe we just put him in the car park. Actually, let's just do that. I'm pretty certain the car park's a safe bet. Yeah, that's what we'll do. There we go. I reckon... He can fit in between. Oh, come on, seriously? You can go in there. There you go. Like that. Alrighty then. So now... They're the pipes that we need for the next couple of stages. The roller's here. We just need to get all the turf. Once we've got all the turf... I think we're good to go, aren't we? That's, like, pretty much the whole job. Um, let's double check. Yeah, get four turf. For that one. And then we've got to compress. Then some more turf, some more pipes. Then... Oh, we've got to get earth as well. All right. Then more turf, and then talk to the foreman. So what are we on? Stage three. So we're going to get 12 turf, if we can. From... Actually, what did it say from? The garden centre. The nursery. Where's the nursery? Oh, the nursery's just down the road. That's fine. Let's see if we can get all 12 on the nursery. Onto here. <laughs> I don't think we can, unless we stack them, which is what I'm proposing to do. I don't know if we'll get them back safely, but we're sure as heck going to put 12 on here. Like, a 3x2 and then another 3x2 on top is what I'm thinking. You know, a lot of turf for a stadium. Sorry, I may have busted pot plants on the way in. My bad. To be fair, you shouldn't put a pot plant there. <laughs> You're just asking for it. Um, right, let's get a good position here. Because he's going to put them all on those shelves. And we need to be able to reach most of them with the crane arm. So hopefully that will do it. Right. Left leg. Leap. Um, plants, miscellaneous turf. Give me all the turf. Kaching. Look at this. We just bought everything. We maxed it out. You can't buy any more from here in one go. Right, one, two. We can get two there, two there, two there. Maybe we can get four by two though and do eight. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. This is going to be like Tetris pack in turf. Ah, I've just spotted a problem with my design. <laughs> if I put them this way, that doesn't work. Okay. Right. Change of plan. We're going to go back to the original. We have to put them that way, I'm afraid. Oh yes, you beauty! Look at that. Nice. All right. Look, I can drag it all the way. Like, can we just do it like that? That's fine. Can't twist it anymore. No! Wow, I can pick two up at once. No, 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 don't knock the other one. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Right, just leave it there. That'll do. <laughs> Seriously. I nearly lost the first one then. If I had been for those side panels, I'd have knocked it off. Right, final piece going in on the lower deck, as it were. Nope, that way. Twist. And drop. Right, now then, the tricky bit. This is the unknown. I don't know. I'm sure we can stack them on top of, the, of each other, but what I don't know is, can we strap them in? And if we can't strap them in, well, we're going to have to drive very carefully, that's all I can say. <laughs> so let's try and see how near we can do it. I see a problem straight away with this. The problem being that I can't bring the arm in. There we go. How high can I bring the arm? There we go, that's better. This is the most I can bring the arm in. So we'll, we'll do the far one first, because that makes more sense. Let's see, I can't... Ideally, I want it a little bit further in, but that's the most I can do it. We should be okay. I'll put the other left side one on now. So when I press, when I tell it to strap it, whoa, the heck! <laughs> when I tell it to strap in, that's at the point where I don't know what it's going to do. Will it strap in the upper ones as well? Will it hold all the cargo? Left a bit, right a bit, fire! <laughs> Two more, we're <laughs> nearly done. What is it? Those greenhouses at the back, have they grown weed in there or something? What is that? I don't want dodgy builders, but dodgy nursery. Alright, spin it around. And spinning around. Um, hmm, is that actually? Yeah, nice. This is a beautiful bit of Tetris packing right here. <laughs> this is about as good as I get on construction sim Tetris packing. It's not bad. I'm getting twelve lots of turf onto the back of this. I don't know what it's going to drive like. I'm looking forward to finding out, though. Last one. No, don't don't knock them off, Paul. For the love of God, do not knock everything else off right now. I'm not happy the way that one's sitting. If I'm honest, it seems a bit unstable. Look at the state of this! This is a amazing, this is epic. I can't think of what could possibly go wrong with this. Now, the big question is... Attached. <gasps> it's only gone and done it! Look at that! I'm suitably impressed! That is pure genius in a bottle. Okay, we're out of it. This is slow. Straight over the vineyards or whatever it is. Through the shortcut. This is amazing. I'm gonna is it four I've got to put? I'm gonna use the top four. And then I can put the pipes on top. And then we'll have everything. The only thing left then is the um, the earth, which I need to take the tipper to. Uh was a shot for here. Yay! Turf high! We're here, boys! Okay, four lots of turf, and that's going to complete this one. Well, the important thing is the progress bar is ticking up there. That's three. I bet it's going to ask me to clear out the way. And then you know what it's going to do? It's going to replace 
this this lovely rolled piece of ground with some grass. You watch. It's just going to go, hey, look, it's grass again. You like it did on the first one. Clear the construction area. In a minute, this is going to look like that. It's going to be so funny if that happens. Right, let's move. In theory, it should put some pipes in or something. How far do we need to be? Uh, uh, is my roller in the way, do you think? Let's get over here. Oh, there you go. And oh my god, it did as well! It did exactly what I said. It just went, look, here's some grass. Oh my life. That's genius. That is pure genius. Right, what else have we got? Compress the marked area, turf and pipes. So it's an exact rinse repeat of the last one. So we need to get the roller out, compress it, and then put turf and pipe in there. Okay. We're going to have to save that for the next episode, I'm afraid. Uh, we've kind of run out of time in this one. So the next episode, we're going to re-roll that. Get these, chuck that in there. Do the next stage, and then... What have we got after that? Stage 5 is Earth. Then 6 is the same thing, and 7 and we're done. It's the weirdest stadium ever. But it looks like we've done that bit. Then we're going to do that bit, and I presume we're then going to do that bit. This, this mission is not what I expected it to be. But we shall get there. Dodgy Builders is coming. And we're almost level 8. Look at that. Until the next time, guys, take care. Happy building.